We're going around the wealthiest golf courses in all of Texas asking millionaires how they became rich. I bought a uh, landscape supply company in New Braunfels and um, I sold it uh, after four years for $42 million. How much you sell it for? We sold it for about $38 million. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? A lot. <laughs> yeah. is, is it in, in, in the seven digits? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, I think we're pulling up on the first country club slash golf course we're going to, Austin Country Club. It's going to be a long shot. We have no idea if this place is gated or not. We're going to try to maybe ask if we can get in and get some interviews just off the pure, pure luck of our channel. So let's get to it. Hey, Walter. Hey, hey, brother, quick question for you. I know it's a long shot. We were just, we were going to try to see if we could do some interviews. Well, I, I can't let you unless you're a member or a resident. It's gonna be tough today trying to go up to these private golf courses. They don't know who we are. We're just trying to get in, get these interviews. But at the end of the day, we gotta mix up the game plan. Yeah, well, I already found the second course. It's kind of like a private resort that we're gonna to head to. So about 15 minutes away, but hopefully we can get in there and find out how these millionaires got rich. So we're approaching the second golf course and hopefully we're gonna be able to get in and maybe snack some interviews with some multi-millionaires while we're here. So the gate was open and we were able to sneak in. We just got to our next golf course. Only problem is it is a private course and there are attendants at every hole. So hopefully we can find a way to scheme in and get some of these interviews. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? Uh, a little over a million. What has been the importance of following your passion for you throughout your career? It made me a very successful uh, hospital administrator doing something I love and right. make, it made a big difference in a lot of people's lives. What led to your success to be able to work your way up to run hospitals? Being street smart, always taking a perspective that you can learn something every day and not be too full of yourself. How can someone really start their path to becoming financially free in today's world? Uh, live within your means. My philosophy early on, I had a, a mentor who said, live on what you made five years ago and invest and bank the rest. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? <laughs> Probably close to 1.5. 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. Were you ever a business owner? I am right now. Yeah, what kind of business are you running right now? Uh, we own a company that has a golf putting training aid. Or what advice would you tell someone who's starting a business this year? Make sure you have a number of people who have been successful at launching your startups. Give you advice. Make sure you got a strong business plan. Uh, you got a strong marketing social media presence and uh, make sure you got your funding in place. One of my uh, people that I really look up to is, is Sir Richard Branson. He says that customers or your clients aren't the most important priority. Your people are. If you take care of your people, they'll take care of your customers. So I really believe in that. We're taking a bit of an intermission in this video real quick. We got our boy James here from the School of Hard Knocks and our new friend Will. We, they are actually going to do a challenge real quick. First to three, Will's nice enough to let us play with him. So uh, yeah, let's get to it, boys. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh. oh. Almost, almost. Jeez, we may have to play the two, bro. Will be the first one on the board. Hey. Woo! <laughs> cool. We're gonna check in with James and Will later, but for now, let's go get some more interviews. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? So I was a golf professional for a while, and then I got out of the business, and now I'm in uh, IT sales. What has been your secret to sales throughout your career? Just put myself in the customer's shoes. I really try to build relationships on on just being so personal and real with, with folks and, and just try to listen to what their challenges are. When someone is a no, though, what's your strategy to convert them to a yes? I like to find out why. Is it competition? Is it pricing? Where, where is it? It sets me up better for the next time. What would be your best financial advice to the younger generation? Uh, stay out of debt and don't get divorced. It's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> yeah, I love and that. that's true because I've been divorced and it cost me all quite a bit. Right. So I like that advice. Right. What are you doing exactly? I'm a project architect at a high-end design firm here in Austin. What would be your best financial advice to the younger generation that you wish someone told you when you were coming out of college? I went to school with a bunch of people that didn't go to college that are as financially free as I am. And that's because they made good investments. They became business owners and then quickly they understood that they needed to invest. So if you can invest your money early on, the earlier the better. So a professional golfer turned tech salesman, another tech salesman, and then an architect. Pretty cool interviews and some pretty insightful game from them. So we're gonna keep running these interviews up and hope you guys are enjoying the content. Make sure that you leave a like and you subscribe because we got tons of amazing content on the way and stay tuned for the end for some real game. We've been getting some really good interviews today, but let's go tap in on Will and James and see how that golf game's going. Oh, Whoa, that's gonna be a tough second one. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, no way. Come on now. Oh, I'm going for it. Whoa, boys, come what on now. Fun. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it in, in, in the seven digits? 
Yes. Okay. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Well, I would say, first of all, college degree is important, but it's not imperative. I think in this country, you can start a business. You can go to the SBA. You can borrow two or $300,000. And if you have a thing that you like to do, you can start it. I did not finish the University of Texas. I started a company 50 years ago with $67 a bank. We're the largest company in town at what we do. What is the biggest mindset change that is needed in order to become a multimillionaire? Humbleness. If you do everything right, it all takes care of itself. And if you live right and you believe there's a guy upstairs that takes care of you and you live down that channel, then a lot of good things come to you that you didn't even know were coming to you. What's your best financial advice to the younger generation that maybe you wish someone told you coming out of school? You have to find out what you're made of. I mean, are you, are you an outgoing guy? Are you going to open a restaurant? Are you going to go to work for Dell? You have to decide who you are. You work for Dell, you make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, and you enjoy your life. If you want to go into business, then you have to decide what do you interested in and then you decide how do you build that then you go find out from other people that have done it so it's it, there's no right answer what industry did you ultimately pursue a career in software where i was a ceo of a software company what was the name of it post up it post was up. sold to upland software here in austin texas That's a public incredible. company so how much you sell it for we sold it for about 38 million dollars what was the biggest thing that you implemented throughout your company to ultimately scale it to the point that it got to you to where you were able to sell it for millions of dollars built a great team it's all about the people all about putting good people in places that they're going to be be successful at and developing people and getting everybody on the same page so that they're working together and communicating effectively. That's what it's all about. How did you break into the tech industry? Well, I worked at Sony first, my first job, seven years at Sony, and then I went to Dell Computers for seven years, and then I got into software. What was the biggest challenge that you faced running a major company, and how were you able to overcome that? Challenges are getting people to focus on working together and not against each other. So I worked at big companies. We had a lot of politics going on. It was hard to manage it. When you get to a small team and you own that small team, you can remove the politics and focus on things like the customer and putting out a good solution and a good product and things that are important. That's why I love working at smaller companies and large ones. Hey, I mean, sometimes you don't want all the bells and whistles. You don't want all the flashy stuff. Sometimes you really got to get down to the nitty gritty, the challenges. What are the hard things about running a company that we got to ask these people? Because ultimately, in order to get to that success, you got to get through all the cre all the bad stuff too. That was a great interview, but it's 1-1 right now in the golf game with James and Will. Let's go see who gets the next point. Look at that. That's a stroke right there. That was good. That was solid. What? No way. Oh, man. oh no. my God. Get out of here. Give me that. Give me that. Let's go. <laughs> Will just took the point to go up 2 1 on James. But for now, let's go check back in with the interviews and get some more game. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Fail. Fail a lot. Second, I would always say teach this to a lot of young athletes. As fast as you can, find a mentor that's specific to what you want to be, what you want to do, that allows you to excel. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? <laughs> Reportable to the IRS was a little over a million. And with that, it's more money, more problems. If you don't learn how to manage the money, keep the money, and grow the money, you know, shame on you again. How can someone start their path to becoming wealthy in 2023? Remember, there's a tremendous amount of wealth that's out there that's above my age. So the challenge that I see with a lot of people that are younger than me and younger than you or, or at your age, they don't always have those personal skills. The faster they can develop those personal skills, uh, the better they're going to be. What's the best industry that people should be looking to get into or where should people really look to put their money? Industry wise, as we get older, medical is never one of those things that's going to go away. Medical has always been one of those things that has allowed me to, to expand and to grow. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Start your own business. Did you end up becoming a business owner? You graduated UT, then I went to Wharton, worked for K KPMG, Peter WC, and then I uh, got hired by a company called Union Carbide. Then I became the president of Union Carbide. I got disenchanted over time with corporate America and decided to start my own business. And I bought a uh, landscape supply company in New Braunfels and um, I sold it uh, after four years for $42 million. What is the first step that someone should really take to make it more than just an idea of wanting to start a business? The number one thing is that there's so much capital out there. With a good idea, you can you can get capital and you don't need to have investors. Investors really are, are problematic, but you can go to the SBA and you can take out a $3 million loan with $150,000 down. You know, it's basically guaranteed by the government and that'll catapult you into kind of your starting spot. If you want to buy a business for a million, then you need 50 grand. How can someone really scale their business or what was the biggest thing that you did that scaled your business? Believing in growth, number one, constantly looking forward, not being scared, buying more trucks when people were not convinced trucks were a good idea. And every time we bought one, it made more money. Hiring more people when I could tell people were stressed out outside, buying good gear, outsourcing all the service side so we could focus on business. It is 2-1 in the golf game between James and Will. Is Will going to be able to close it out? Let's go see. It's good. Oh, man. Dang. All right. 
Good shot right there. Oh. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh game. Good game though. Wow. Bro. Good game, man. Make sure that you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel because we have tons of amazing content coming on the way. And click the link right here to watch us going door knocking around one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Texas asking millionaires how they got rich.